We'll turn the mic up. Wow, that's real crispy. Okay, I got my compressor set to 17, but that's like outrageous. I mean, I can whisper and that thing will pick it up. All right, so we have our compressor set. So we go back to input through. We check everything. Your through is on analog stereo 100. Compressor is on bus one. All right, now time for hard disk recording. Good grief. Mold. And then hard disk recording, which is pad 16. Then it brings up this again. Add audio track to song. You want to push do it, which is F6. Okay, now we're back here and you see the mic is working. Then you simply just arm a track. I'm using the left side, so see where the L? I would hit F5. Now it's armed. Yo, I got such a glare, man. It's like, maybe that's a little better. All right. So I armed the track. Now, what you do, you go to HD Mix, if you want. HD Mix just shows your eight tracks, which, um, see the effects there? You can also add other effects like Chorus Flanger and, but, um, these effects are after it's like once it's recorded to the hard drive then you put those effects on the effect that i was showing you with the master is pre so it's before it goes to the uh hard drive or before you record your mix which is um what you would need to make any type of mic effects like uh more bass or whatever or turn it up i wish they had a limiter but they actually do. You can turn it. Can, and I'm not going to get into that. But um, all right. So let's get this on because this is dragging. It's almost 20 minutes. Um, What you would do now is go to HD view, which is F4. All right. Now we bring up your recording section. Now, if you can see that, focus in. I should have used Well, Basically, my track one has a check. So, when I hit record and play at the same time, it's going to start recording what I'm saying. And I can play that back. It's going to start recording what I'm saying. Did y'all hear that? Same time. It's going to start recording what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. So y'all see that definitely works like that. Now, let me add the beat in there. Remember we mixed down the beat? So what you're going to want to do is select a track. So you use your cursor. Move down to track two. Now you see there's a little light in there. What you can do is hit the plus and you've selected that track. Now you hit edit and you have different things you can do. You can gain the whole track. You can cut it, copy it, paste it, normalize, silence, delete a track. Okay, this is what we want. Import track. So you would click do it. Now, of course, import track, do it. Invalid name. Hold up, cancel. What did I do? Import track. Oh yeah, by the way, you're going to need to have that song in the memory. So you have to go to load and load it into the memory and just let it sit in the memory. Then you can pull that song up and put it into your track. If the song is not in memory, you, the MP will not show it. It will not find the file. You'll have a problem. So make sure that you find the song and you load it in the memory before you try to insert it into a track. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, you pick uh, what you wanted. I wanted that. And do it. Now it's importing the track. So now it's, it's on one, so... Alright, so now I have that. Okay. So track one is the beat. We'll turn off the edit for now. All right. And if you want to view it, you go to range and 
it should be like six bars. Okay, so I went to range, and now you can see the actual beat. Um, let me turn that down. You hit play, and it starts playing. You hit stop, and you see the beat again. Now, let's add some lyrics to it real quick. So we'll arm track two. We'll go back to HD mix. Excuse me. Record. We'll go back to record. And we'll go to left arm. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to use a different one now because this track is what you're going to want to use. Um, what you do now for a different track, we got to change this to change that to three because I want to use two for the for the thing. So now I can put this to two. So the way you select your tracks, record and left to track two. OK, and then you hit arm. Now, as you can see, the left moved over to two, the three moved over. That's how you control this plane right here is with that up there. That and that go hand in hand. That's how you tr select your new track. Okay, now, oh my God, I hate this video. You got to go to HD view and we're ready to record. So what we'll do, we'll turn this down and we'll hit record and play. Record, play, start. We'll bring it all the way to the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheer, yeah. Let's see if we hear ourselves. I hear it, it's real low. So what we gotta do to make that higher is we're gonna go to Bus one, go to effects compressor. It's on 17. Compressor's on. Go back to the. I'm not impressed with the loudness. We have that armed. And then HD view. I'm ready to go. Let's do this one again. I want it sounding better than that. Check. Yo, yo. Okay, there we go. I wasn't even in the mic. My spit screen had me thrown off. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Test one, two. You know what we do. I. Right. Now, if you want to bring it back, see how it says start? That button right there. As you can see, brings you back to zero uh, one 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 zero zero zero. Now, let's unarm that track. Go to record. Unarm the left track. Okay, I hear it. I want to see both of my things, so I'll go to range. Show me six bars. And I'll see my six bars when I go back to start. Let me do it again. This is the one thing that upsets me about this. All right, so. Say I got my beat. Say I want to zoom into the beat for finer editing. Uh, basically, just go to start and open up a window. No waveform. Okay, there it is. Oh, I got stuff. It takes a second to load. But see, now you can edit the fine editing. I'm at one one zero zero. Let's 
So that's my uh that's how you zoom in. And then you see the zoom, you can make it uh smaller by zooming or make it bigger. Zoom in, zoom out. That's explanatory. Close that. Uh let me see track two. Open the window. Alright, that was my actual lyrics right there. Now it's the same way if you wanted to edit it, if you want to cut it. It's showing my uh, different positions. That's my vocals right there. And, uh, see, if you hit track, it's telling you what you're on. I'm on track two audio track. Or you can go to track one. Did y'all see how I did that? <laughs> you uh hold the track button and then um if you can reach over to your uh data wheel or the plus and minus, you can view your different tracks. See now I'm a track that's my vocals. Remember I did the vocals on track two. Um, and I did the beat on track one, and this is going to conclude this tutorial. If you need any more help, hit me up. I will like write you a letter walking you through because this video, uh, is just ran way too long and it's just like, it's, it's no joke, man. If you, uh, shh, like I said, you need more help with editing or cutting or something, I'll do more videos with, uh, editing but that's basically how you record to the hard uh, the hard disk. Uh, keep doing what you do. Keep the peace. Keep making them videos. Subscribe. I'm out, man. Peace.